Hi, my name is Darren Robinson, and in this video, I'm going to provide an overview and demonstration of my submission for the Microsoft Graph Security Hackathon. My submission is my first ever web app that runs in a Docker container on the Azure App Service and is called the Microsoft User Security Evaluation Reporter, or Microsoft User. Microsoft User is an Azure AD and Active Directory tool for use by the service desk and security officers to get instant visibility of an organization's Azure security score that allows them to, and also it allows them to evaluate current risks with an organization right down to individual users. A security administrator within an organization enables security related configuration options on an Azure tenant to implement security controls that align an organization with Microsoft recommendations and best practice. The Azure Security Score provides an evaluation on the alignment of an organization with best practice. However, to some extent, it still requires end users to have the right configuration for security related elements of their profile. But as a service desk operator or a security officer, there isn't a single view of a user's security posture that gives you a, a summary of an individual user's security score. That's what this tool aims to provide. Uh, when the Azure Web App loads, I'll just reload it here now, the current sec Azure Security Score is retrieved uh, from the Azure Security Graph and displayed um, with alignment uh, with Microsoft recommendations. So you can see for this tenant, the score is currently 373 out of 596. So that's about a 63% uh, rating, uh, which can be improved. Uh, also on load, you can see it's also retrieved the latest uh, five most recent active risk events from the directory. Here we've got four anonymous IP events and one impossible travel event. For any one of these, we can click on lookup and it's going to go and retrieve the details for the individual that's associated with that event and give us some more information about them. When selecting them, we were able to will be able to understand uh, the individual security posture of that user, uh, with, aligned with best practice, but also how we want the users to be configured for our environment. So in this case, you can see we've got uh, immediate attention required. We've got some user risk events, which we know about because that's why we entered on this user in the first place. Um, but we can also see that we've got a warning that their primary MFA method is currently set to SMS text. On the, on the good side, their Active Directory password hasn't been pwned. So looking down at the summary of the user and getting a little bit more details around the user, we can click on the user risk events and see what the risk events are. We can see we've got risk events here going back about two or three weeks, uh, but they're all anonymous IP events. So uh, maybe this user is using a Tor browser uh, or maybe they're using uh, some sort of VPN. Um, either way, maybe, maybe that's okay, maybe it's not. Um, that's part of having visibility of this is then looking at other aspects of the user profile to determine uh, whether or not they align with uh, what we want to see the users, how the users are configured. If we look at the MFA methods registered for this user, they've only got one method registered and it's a one-way SMS uh, and the phone number that it's currently uh, associated with it. Uh, the password, the password check is checking the user's Active Directory password against the Have I Been Pwned uh, v4 password list. Uh, and that uses uh, the LithNet uh, password protection for Active Directory tool in order to do that lookup in real time. Uh, we can look at the user's recent sign-in activity. So we can see that the user appears to be using a Mac OS device uh, and use, using a Chrome browser. We can see where they're logging in from. We can see the IP address and see any conditional access policies that are assigned as part of those logon, as part of those logon events. Uh, recent SSPR events, this user's got none, so there's, we'll, we'll come back to that for another user. Uh, we can also see the user doesn't have any devices, but under this we also get a few more details about the user. So the user is enabled, it's a hybrid type user. We can see their display name, UPN, email, department, title, location, uh, SAM account name and manager. So going back in, uh, so if, if for this user, we'd probably make a phone call to them, uh, find out a little bit 
more information about why they've got these anonymous IP events, uh, but we'd probably also look to get their security posture improved by getting them to enroll with an authenticator app, maybe then over using SMS text as their MFA method. And then click new search, it's going to reload the page. Um, and uh, now we're going to search for an individual user. So if I'm on the service desk and I've received a call from someone, I can look at the, the individual user and see if there's something that can be improved about the user's profile while I've got them on the call. So if I search for myself, for example, I go find, it's going to go out and search anyone in the directory that has that name, and it finds three results. So for me, there's a, there's a, a hybrid account, there's a B2B account with my cloud account, and then there's a cloud-only account, which happens to be my admin account. So as I, if I was to look up my general user account, it's going to go out to the directory and pull back some more information about my user account. So when that comes back, uh, my profile is looking pretty good. Uh, so whereas before we had needs improvement, this is an awesome profile. So there's no risk events associated with my user account. My password is all good. And my primary method for enrollment uh, with MFA is the Authenticator app. So the risk events, there's nothing to see there. I can look at my MFA methods. It says, yes, I'm, my primary method is the phone app notification. It can see the device that I'm registered with and my phone number. If I then look at, um, so my password's all good. Again, that is checking my Active Directory password against the Have I Been Pawned uh, v4 list. Uh, and that's using the LithNet uh, password protection for Active Directory tools to do that in real time. I can look at my recent sign-in activity. I can see that my uh, my recent sign-ins are from a, mostly for, all from a Windows 10 device. Uh, it can see the device name. It can see if conditional access has been applied to any of those login events and how uh, the identity was proofed, in this case using the push notification to the mobile app. Uh, and, um, and I can see that my device is Azure AD registered. So that's all looking pretty good for that user. Um, I do have some recent uh, password reset activity. So if I click on this, we can see that there's two password reset events for this user in the last 30 days. You can see there was a successful password reset event on the 5th of February, uh, and the password was successfully reset. Uh, there was another one on the 23rd of February, and you can see that that failed, and it failed because of on-premise password violations. So the user uh, has... Uh, attempted to set a password that doesn't meet the, the password policy with an active directory. So the password was not allowed. Maybe the password was too short. Maybe the password had previously been used and didn't, uh, didn't meet the history requirements uh, or something like that. Uh, and finally, we can look at the uh, user and device details. So as we saw before, there's a workplace joined uh, Windows 10 device, which is associated with the user. We can see the device name uh, and we can see the inf information about that user as well. So accounts enabled, it's a hybrid style user, um, location, same account name and manager, etc. So in summary, uh, through everyday use of this tool as part of end user interactions uh, by the service desk and cybersecurity officers, the security posture of end users calling the service desk can be improved, especially if they've had got risk events associated with them, uh, their MFA enrollment method, if they're having difficulties resetting their password uh, or the devices they're coming in from. A continuous improvement of the end user security posture will also improve the Azure security score for an organization, uh, enforcing and aligning with configurations that are implemented by the security administrators. So this tool is fantastic. It's a single pane view. It's all web services. It's, uh, it's all dynamically driven. It's all driven by the Azure Security Graph and Azure AD. Um, this is Microsoft User Security Evaluation Reporter. Thanks for watching.